Hey everybody, welcome back to Binding of Isaac, the Buttress of Windsor. We're doing a daily today. It's only going to Mom's foot. I don't like that. We'll be looking for a seam. Uh, and we're playing as Lazarus. I will... <laughs> You're making me very upset. <laughs> I wouldn't... Oh, hey. He dips. He dodges. He makes Julian fries. Hey, come here. There we go. No spirit hearts, please. No spirit hearts, please. Yeah, we're leaving. Um, obviously that was not worth it, except for exploration bonus, but it's alright. Let's see what we get. Stompy, I think, is actually pretty okay. If we can enable it to maybe give us some, uh, demon hearts or spirit hearts early via Tinted Rock, that would be nice. But let's, let's think about this. How are we gonna get ahead of the curve here? We do wanna, if possible, spawn as, uh, real Lazarus, you know, respawn Lazarus, uh, on this floor. Statistically, it doesn't seem like, you know, barring some kind of uh, amazing turn of events, we'll be killing it. Dude, Cracked Crown is amazing. Does Cracked Crown only become better as floors go on? Like, does it start by only giving you a modest tier rate increase? What a strange way to phrase that. Mama! My modest tears increase! What light from me on the window breaketh? Come on. A single black market, that would be the perfect get right now. Uh, anyway, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, uh, we actually, I, I think, I mean, everybody's gonna take Stompy, but I think a lot of people might take Stompy and then not step on literally everything, so we might be able to pull ourselves, like, very slightly ahead of the pack there. Um, it's probably a second secret room right here. It's not really what I was looking for to be honest. We're gonna have enough money to get an arcade on the next floor, whether or not that's relevant. Um, this is probably our regular secret room. Wow. Uh, just, just straight up garbage. I'm not gonna use my key to go to the shop. Without sounding ridiculous, this is actually kind of a difficult first floor boss room. With base stats, except for a mildly increased rate of fire, Two champion monstros, uh, plus two enemies, one of which was a champion in his own right. A little annoying, but, you know, we've already made it through the, the hardest part of the fight in all likelihood, so just make sure you're still crunching away at this guy. Once one of them dies, it's gonna become substantially easier. And actually, if we die on the fight, it's not the worst thing in the world. Just make sure you don't lose one HP if you're gonna get hit after that point. The damage penalty doesn't matter, because we have to hurt ourselves to begin with to enable uh, real Lazarus. Yeah, so we, we do want to die here. Wasn't there a fire somewhere? The secret room has a fire. Burn me, baby. Pill is pretty fly. HP plus luck. I really don't think you could leave this floor having really squeezed more points out of it than we did there. Not just points, but value as well. Like, uh... We're certainly not dealing with a 10 out of 10 run thus far, but are, statistically speaking, the run's okay. Definitely want to step on all pots, as annoying as it looks. And is. <laughs> now we need an arcade if we want to get into our boss trap room, or we could deliberately take damage on the curse room, which is uh, actually a good play, but only after we uh, fight the boss. So just hold off a little bit. You know the deal. On any daily, like, the most important floor is usually this one right here. As long as we can make sure that, uh... It's probably a secret room. As long as we can make sure that we're giving ourselves a realistic chance at the deal with the devil. The highest realistic chance. Uh, I'm gonna be happy with the way things go here. Because then we can make the decision. The ball's in our court at that point. Without any spirit hearts to back us up. We gotta be careful about walking on these pots, dude. Without any spirit arts to back us up, we gotta play pretty well here. And keep in mind, I mean, I actually think uh, if it only goes to mom, I don't think there's a boss rush. There m might be, but I'm not convinced. So we did get uh, the quarter there, which is really nice. Stompy has already done a lot of good work for us. Just be careful about walking backwards here. You don't want to accidentally walk into... Uh, opening up a path the spider can take, and we can just really easily do this for ourselves. Nice. So we do have a bomb now. 
I'd rather go to the shop than the item room. Considering we can probably do both. And this is an interesting daily. Like, I, I might sound like I don't like it. Uh, it's not the case. It's just puzzling right now. It's a strange one. I don't know about this one yet. I do like the idea of placing one bomb and probably getting 10 cents back. Ooh, be careful. So let's try that out. I don't think... Oh, wow, that sucks. I don't think we want anything else. Maybe try the pill? Oh, it was extremely worth it. Maybe try the card. That also could be worth it. Okay, let's go peep this. Lazarus rags again. I think that does nothing for us, but I'm kind of interested nonetheless. For now, uh, let's go fight the boss. We want to see what our deal with the devil looks like. I mean, via Lazarus rags, we could die and then respawn. And there's, I wouldn't say there's no penalty, but there's a limited penalty. I just want to make sure we're not taking, you know, two hours to get through this floor. Because it's going to uh, reflect poorly on us when we try to get a little later. We still want to hit the curse room if possible. We still want to do some backtracking. And apparently it's the world's longest floor to begin with. Just don't lose focus here. This is important. This is probably a second secret room. I don't want to backtrack for the regular secret room. So just hit me with this. And that was not that good, but we still needed to do it. And one makes you larger is irrelevant. Uh, second quarter, please. That's fine. Spiders. Varus. Varus Bueller's day off. If we get really strong, we should backtrack. The haunt is real tricky here. If we wanted to be uh, tricky ourselves, which I don't, we would use temperance to try to deliberately force ourselves to take damage um, before we take damage from these ghosts. But I think that's too dicey to be realistic. It's a nice thing to think about, though. It's a good pipe dream. Just watch out for spiders. I think just take as long as you want to take here. Perfect. Synth oil's amazing. Ooh. Probably want Dark Bomb, huh? I don't think it's worth dying. Sorry. I think we just go. I, I straight up think we're out of here. Uh, and we missed out on a lot on that floor. We missed out on a cursed room. We missed out on a uh, mob trap room. But I will stand by that until the end of time. I'll, I'll stand by this, dude. A space bar item. Finally. And our damage is now amazing. Rate of fire is pretty good. All of our stats are pretty good, actually. Um, what we would love to see is more survivability. Lazarus Rags helps, but it doesn't uh, doesn't take us close to where we need to go. Don't forget about Stompy, either. I have a, a tendency, I'd say, to, you know, once the run gets a little deeper, it's you forget about the, the early game synergies. We do need to go faster, but this is an easier floor uh, for us to, to make that happen, I think. Great work. Thank you so much. Um... I do want to go to this cursed room. That's absolutely 100% on the to-do list. We're strong enough. We're good enough. And gosh darn it, people like us. I do want to go to that room. I'm just a little frightened. So this doesn't freeze enemies. It just makes them afraid. In, in hindsight, Mom's Pad is essentially worth nothing here. As is Camo Undies. It's really nice to not have to shoot the poops, though. Maybe I live a privilege, uh, privileged Isaac lifestyle, but I don't want to shoot poop if I can just walk on it. I'd rather get my shoes dirty. That's what Miss Frizzle said, remember? Make mistakes, get messy, step in poop, get coins out of it, exchange those coins for goods and or services. Let's be honest, probably goods. Ain't no one giving you a massage if you paid him in poop coin. Not a secret room. We definitely do still want to go to the shop. This feels like a secret room. 
because it is a secret room. Just one payout for Demon uh, or Dark Bum. And we're so far ahead of the curve. We can go back. We can go to the Cursed Room. We can get our four year degree. We can take a tiers upgrade. Well, we're going to do that regardless. But the point is just one more half red heart potentially carries us to greatness. We are going to be able to get into the shop as well, which is super nice because it actually, oh, you idiot actually cannot be a, uh, a greed fight this early. And it is still early, despite what the time says. So we'll toss a bomb down. And it's actually pretty terrible. Um, but Mr... Mr. Me6, which is not actually Mr. Me6, but let's be honest. It's Mr. Me6. It does open up some doors for you, and you might think that I'm speaking in like a metaphorical sense, but I'm not. It literally can open up uh, either Hush or Boss Rush, or maybe both, or maybe Mega Satan. It's it's one of the three, or one combination of the three of those. There we go. Um, so, I'm kind of interested in maybe picking that up. Maybe it could open Boss Rush for us, but... Well, what, what are we waiting for now that I think about it? Mom's pad is just bad. So we're throwing 15 cents for a chance to maybe get uh, a door opened. Although, I'm pretty sure it only works on Mega Satan. We could still use it to steal items though. Like, what are we gonna do with Mom's pad? It's just, it's just not good. Screw is good. So we're at the rate of fire cap. Screw might lower it, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, grab this. And then immediately grab this. Thank you for your help. I've got a whole series of plays set up here. We gotta go really, really quickly though. Because I'm extremely annoyed by the fact that we're so far behind schedule. We should, ah, no, we don't care about a temperance card, do we? That is actually tempting. You're gonna think that I'm losing my mind and maybe I am. I don't think we have the HP to make it work either way. But there's a very realistic chance that that's the way forward. As much as I hate to admit it. I will, I will let you in in a moment, Tomo. You just gotta give me a second here. Hello, my friend. Uh, I think we take the damage. And then we use the stars card on the next floor to get ahead of the curve. I know I say ahead of the curve a lot, but there is a curve. And we're behind it. Probably ahead of it on a DPS standpoint, but behind it on a time standpoint. We're almost one full floor behind. So if we have to, we'll skip a floor to make it happen. Because uh, boss rush is just so important for us. Yeah, it's, it's a puzzly daily. That could have been the self-sacrifice room that we would have needed to play. But I'm going to hope that it isn't. Just glean some information first. This is an easy room. We'll do this room. High Priestess. We're better off not taking it. Alright, now that we've gone this way, let's pop Star's card. Gives us some bombs. Not good bombs, but... They probably make worse bombs than that. We got our boss right away. We don't want to leave just yet, but we don't necessarily want to stay too, too long. Mr. Meesix will do damage against the, uh, the boss if we tell him to, but I think it's better for us to maybe use him to steal a deal with the devil. We also want to get red hearts as fast as possible because we really, like a self-sacrifice room is the most likely way to progress. An Awaz rune is probably secondary. We didn't get a deal with the devil, which is actually like pretty against odds for us, but okay. We will go to the curse room. We have a luck stat of three. How can we not have like 20 red hearts being turned into spirit hearts at any given time. We have three luck. Shop, please. I really don't want to spend this much time doing it. If you could put the shop in my nearby... It's 2018. Everybody's online shopping. Nobody even goes to the freaking store anymore. Thank you. My, my badgering has worked. 
What about my mushroom, mushroom? Well, we don't love uh, much of this. Bring me the card, please. Justice. Justice. Sure. Finally, a payout, potentially. Beautiful. Actually, a really good turn of events. So we're on the Flooded Caves 2. We'll peep our... Ooh, I like that. Secret room, maybe? Ah, uh, you're actually stupid. Um, there we go. Secret room. More money. And then we will go to our curse room really quick, and then we'll get the heck out of town. It ended up being worth it. I love it. Okay. Might get a second secret room out of that. God. <laughs> Uh, no, no second secret room. That's fine. We made up a little bit of time there, and we can use the world card to hopefully do the same. But this run might be uh, approaching being over pretty quickly here. Now that we know where we're going, I think we can afford to do this. I'll be the first to tell you, this is a little dice. That was pretty stupid. Um, just keep playing well. We have taken very little damage. I mean, we've taken a little damage due to Stompy that I'm a little embarrassed by, but uh, not too, too much. I don't think we should be overly alarmed right now about the way that this run has gone. Magic Mush, please. No such luck. I'm going to uh, fight the boss. Because after fighting the boss, first off, 100% chance for a deal with the devil. Secondly, we can... Um, we can make our own decision about how to progress after that, that point. Of course, I'd love to go to the item room and shop. I'd love to go to at least one of them. Probably, preferably the shop, honestly. But we'll see how things shake out. That may or may not be worth it. Yes, Ruka? Crack dice is pretty good. The thing is, like, I should be using Mr. Meesix for something if we're not going to do anything else with it. I guess we would use crack or dice shard here, but then it'll reroll to us to a clubs, but it'll also reroll that. I think we got to take that if we're going to have any chance to play some self sacrifice rooms. And uh, this is where. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, this is where people are going to start to be upset. It's probably not a good word. No secret room here? I thought I... Yeah, well, you know, we already found it. That's fine. Oh, God, what are you doing? Just kill him. Oh, you've made it so much worse. Um, we're, this is a run we're going to play as if it is a daily. We're not going to put on blinders and say, like, hey, we're just going to do this run the old-fashioned way. This is one where I think we need to put on our daily caps. And we need to say, you know what? Let's try to get through it as quickly as possible. I am going to go to the item room. Perhaps you would disagree with my assessment of doing that. You may well be correct. Lucky me. We're not going to be far behind schedule, and it was not worth it. But You got something for me? No. That's what you're looking for. Uh, that'll give us mapping. And I think that's as good as it's going to get. I really think... Wow. The majority of people are not going to do this. I think this is going to come across as a dead daily for a lot of people. Thank you. And it could still be a dead daily for us. We're really looking for a self-sacrifice room on the next floor. In addition to boss rush. And there's no self-sacrifice room, so uh, we're... The, the next step is easy, though. We get a teleport card. Oh, it's a long trip. What's still alive? I hate you. We get a teleport card. And we use that to get out of boss rush so we can go back and hopefully get like an AWAS room. If not, it's going to be a small daily today. And this will be the, the biggest tease of a daily we've had so far. But that doesn't mean it's bad. It can still come out way ahead. We got plenty of bombs to skip some of these rooms. We can't really afford to be taking this much time. 
None of our special rooms are adjacent, which is real dicey. Cards, cards! Nah. Uh, the thing is, you shouldn't step on the cards. Or you shouldn't step on the skulls. Oh, you got me. Until we've killed everything. Only small rooms are left. Good. Very good. Super good, sure. You know what? You know what? You're taking too long. Sorry, Dark Bum, you can't. There's no time. I'm sorry. It's already gonna be tight. He's got it. Let's get the heck out of here. We got a minute. If we super... I mean, we're still going too slow. It didn't work. Please land some bombs. Please land some bombs. I would really like to land some bombs. Holy crap, we did it. We did open up boss rush, so that comes first. Although we did already fight Krampus, so we could have... Okay, I think we start, honestly, by just popping this guy down and seeing what we get. And we take you. Even though Mr. Mesex maybe could have done it, I don't know what we do with, like... Just send him around. Maybe, maybe he'll... He's going hard on the enemies? The more of these we can summon, maybe the stronger it is? I don't know, man. This is a weird... It's a weird weirdo daily. It's a daily for weird weirdos. You're now dead, huh? I guess you just aggro the closest enemy, and then when the closest enemy dies, you die as well. So, I mean, in the whole scheme of things, this run is actually pretty bad. Our stats are good. We have almost no synergies. Cracked Crown is carrying a lot of the weight. And it's really, really hard to kill things. I can't believe we made it to Boss Rush. Like, look at how long it's taken to kill War. Poor guy. War is kind of a tanky enemy, but like... Not extremely so. So I would just get yourself prepared. Because this is going to be a long boss rush. Why on earth would you think that that's a good play? Well, we do have some sticky bombs. Probably we'll try to use those against like a carrion queen. You care about efficiency. Please, pills. Let's go. It's a pill that sucks. That's a horrible pill. On the bright side, it did poison these guys. That's not worth nearly as much as it costs us. But it's something, I guess. Oh my lord. You're too fast. I don't think we're gonna die. But if we get hit enough, it functionally made it so there was no point in coming here. So we really, like, it's boring as heck, but we really gotta do our part. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, you're too fast. I just can't. I, I can't stop you. <laughs> I <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, this is the familiar daily fatigue. I can feel it. 
This is where you start to go, why am I playing this, these stupid dailies again? We have a genuine reason. We have to get all of the achievements. We still never lost on a daily. Feels good. Never lost on a daily on this save file. We lost plenty of dailies back in our day. Oh, my lord. Puberty. It's irrelevant. We really could not have done worse than an I'm excited pill. Give up all chance of dodging that. That's just like... Best of luck to you, sir. Oh, now those are some tears. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't even, uh, don't even move. Two pills? To what do I owe the pleasure? Who would have thought that 1.6 speed would not be adequate? Thank you. Well, you ever hear the song, we're here for a good time, not a long time? You ever hear the other song by Old El Paso? It's called, uh, Por Que No La Dos? Because we're, we're definitely here for both. Um, don't tell the pills me, that's all I have. Where did the, you took the pill! I needed that! <laughs> I wanted you to attack the enemy, you idiot! Oh man, so no doubt this is like the trashiest daily we've had. I only, I only keep saying it because honestly, I will accept no criticism about my commentary in this episode because there's nothing to talk about and boss rush is so long. I can, I can spin a yarn out of anything, but you know, eventually you've been staring at the same scenery for so long. When boss and Russians lost its fun. Hello. How's it going? I wasn't talking to you, Ruka. That was rude, you're right. Please, God. I beg you for mercy. Release me. This is just too much boss rush. You're killing me inside. You know what? I appreciate the uh, the strange strategies that can sometimes work during a daily, though. Like, for example, boss rush being the wrong choice. Wow, what a what a novel concept. That doesn't happen very often. You got to applaud their uh, decision making over there. I wonder where the seam was, if there was one. You know what? I just had like a horrible idea here. What if we get the shovel as our item for when we're done? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we would maybe we would just say, oh, "I didn't see that." Oh, it looks like we got nothing. Well, what a strange coincidence. All right. Well, we'll see you in tomorrow's daily. <sighs> What do you think? Over, under? We're gonna make 10 minutes on this? Lemon. Lemon Party's the best pill. It's actually, like, literally the best pill, I think. For, for right now. Kill him before the fast shots come in. That's gonna be a real problem. Well, luckily, Fistula, kind of a joke. You must have died to Brimstone. Oh, good. Are you a wizard? I didn't think you could get me. That's my fault. Oh. My brain slowly turning to mush. Thank you. We got very lucky there. Bone baby. Okay, this you see what time this run is at? Bone baby. Bone baby. Bone baby. This is 
is acid baby. Acid baby. <laughs> Do you see what time this run is at? 28 minutes, 5 seconds. Yeah. You know how fast you have to be to get into boss rush. Yeah. I've been on boss rush for 8 minutes. Bone baby. There's no bone baby. Is the thing. Demon baby. It's not, that's dark bone. Acid baby. Acid baby, that's correct. You got me there. Please, Lord. I also, like, I took an I'm excited pill by accident right as the room started. It just never ends. Please, please kill the Gertie! Ooh. Cats are getting groomed. Whoa, how did you know? I read the calendar that's in the kitchen. Whoa! We've done it! Now, sadly, that's the end of the run anyway. And I think we have essentially the same amount of points as when we started. This was just terrible. This was a terrible daily. Where do we rank? First? Thirst. 283rd. It's not that bad. But this was... Don't play this daily. If you're, you're probably watching this like the end of January. Don't go back in time and play this daily. It's garbage. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you had some entertainment regardless. If you did, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.